Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Amelia Marquez. In tonight's news, we'll tell you what to do if you think you might have unclaimed money being held by the Tennessee Treasury Department. We'll speak with Coffee County Emergency Management Director about security measures for this week's Bonnaroo Music and Arts Festival. And the Senior Citizen Center is celebrating their 45th anniversary this week. We'll have these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Dr. Credit here from Russell Barnett Kia. Are you needing a vehicle but don't think it's possible because of your current credit situation? Great news, it is possible. But don't just take it from me. Here's a few of our satisfied customers and what they had to say. Not only did they take the time to get to know me and my wants, they found me someone to finance me with my bad credit and got me the car of my dreams. Dr. Credit, come see him, he's great. He can help you, I know he can, he helped me. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Credit at Russell Barnett Kia so you can drive away happy. All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and what I am now, and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well, the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. The Tennessee Treasury Department returned a record amount of unclaimed property in 2016 to Tennesseans across the state, marking a 28% increase over the prior year. In total, 41,827 claims were processed in 2016, totaling more than $34 million with an average claim amount of $817. Unclaimed property is money that has been turned over to the state by businesses and organizations that cannot locate their original owner. Each year, millions of missing dollars are returned with the assistance of the Tennessee Treasury Department, helping get that money back to its rightful owners. And while $34 million was returned in 2016, there's currently $789.2 million of money and property still waiting to be claimed. There's no expiration date for this unclaimed property in Tennessee, and it's held by the state until claimed by its rightful owner. If you think you might have entitled to some of this unclaimed property, you can visit the website at claimittennessee.com or call the Treasury Department at 615-741-6499. These unclaimed property services are offered by the Treasury Department free of charge and fees are associated with processing a claim. Once a claim is received, the Treasury verifies its funds going to the correct person with many claims being returned within two weeks of being submitted. Honorary Alderman Ella Fanning was recognized at Tuesday City Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting. Um, Ella Fanning. Ella used to be uh, a Moore County Raider. Now she's a Tullahoma Wildcat. In fact, the family moved to Tullahoma. So that right there is a good thing. Now they can vote. Yeah, they can do these things. Her mother is one of our instructors at Tullahoma High School, an outstanding instructor. And the young lady here is next year's student body president for the upcoming school year. And that speaks very highly of her. The National Honor Society, Student Council, Mu Alpha Theta, Mayor's Youth Council. She plays varsity tennis. Um, active member at the Grundy Street Church of Christ. Plans to attend. <laughs> The University of Tennessee, our Hardeman University, I'm putting my word in for Hardeman, but uh, that's okay. I asked her about Alabama and I didn't get an answer, so I guess that was gone. But anyway, but we are certainly, I mean, she's got a great attitude, not only that, but a great personality. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Well, Miss Fanning, tell us a little bit more about yourself. That sums it a lot. Um, I really am just like a hometown girl, so like I want to come back to Tullahoma once I'm out of college. I like the hometown, and it's just a great environment, so I really appreciate the town. And I'm not interested in being involved in politics when I um, graduate college, but I really want to come back and serve my community. Very nice. And what do you plan on studying in, in school? Um, biomedical engineering as of now. <laughs> By the way, she has a 4.3 GPA. <laughs> <laughs> so what does biomedical engineering person do? 
Um, it has a lot to do with like prosthetics and just trying to help people like that to um, be able to make their lives easier and in that in the medical field. Very nice. Anyone in the audience that you would like to recognize at this time? Um, well, there's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, if you'll stand there at your desk, we've got a certificate we'd like to present to you, recognizing you as the honorary alderman. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Tullahoma City Schools Director Dr. Dan Lawson comments on the inclusion of civics in the school's curriculum. I had a kind of an interesting blurb uh, popped up uh, recently. There was, a, I forgot how the complaint came up now. The fact that our uh, kids were not uh, able to pass a civics test. Uh, how does our system, how does our government work? You know? And one number I saw said that there was, uh, and I want, this didn't apply to Tullahoma, but in the system that was being looked at, something like 2% of the students were able to pass the a test that was given to immigrants who are applying for citizenship. Right, right. And uh, 2%. <clears throat> Whereas the immigrants were uh, up in the 90s. <clears throat> so they're, they're being taught and tested in the same direction. But uh, that sort of got passed over as far as Tullahoma was concerned. I didn't, there didn't seem to be any concern about it. And I don't know whether we have any way to measure it. It's just not only do we have a, a way to measure it, we have a requirement that we must do so. Um, in the General Assembly, I believe two years ago, legislation was enacted that said we have to have a, a test issued to our students. And Susan, I believe we've incorporated that in our government uh, textbook and in some of the materials yes. that we use. But that particular assessment is pulled, in fact, from the same question bank that our immigrants use to gain citizenship status. So we do have that test right now. It's a test that our students are compelled to pass before they leave high school. Yeah. We'll be back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. Have you ever been involved in one of these? And you need one of these? Then look no further than the Russell Barnett Certified Collision Center with a state-of-the-art facility, aluminum capabilities, lifetime paint guarantee, Russell Barnett Auto Rental, claims assistance from start to finish. We are here to serve you. So stop by and let us show you why we are number one, the Russell Barnett Certified Collision Center. Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home. Our family, caring for your family since 1932. Welcome back. News leader producer Philip Scoggins spoke with Coffee County Emergency Management Director Alan Lindley about what steps are being taken to ensure the safety of Bonnaroo fans coming to Coffee County this weekend. Philip Scoggins here with Alan Lindley, Director of Emergency Management and Homeland Security for the area here. And I thought we'd talk to Alan a little bit and see uh, Bonnaroo's coming up. So, yes, uh, so what all do, you're the guy who, who keeps, keeps everybody safe, right? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm one of the many. Uh, uh, we, we do the, the coordination and planning for the event from the emergency services side. So, uh, so we've been working diligently since about mid-February uh, on developing uh, and updating the plans uh, for emergency response uh, at the event. Uh, planning for, for anything. Uh, anything catastrophic or day-to-day -day operations, it's, it's all in, inclusive in the plan. So, so we've been working pretty hard since February. Okay. Now, do you, I know y'all are, are based out of, outside of Bonnaroo, but do you have people inside 
for uh, to help people out? Uh, yeah, we do uh, we do some ride throughs and some different things at Bonnaroo's request. Uh, where we have we have folks uh, just kind of roaming around to assist the, the folks. Okay. Well, I know you guys keep track of the weather and the, all the all the impending storms coming through. And in June in Tennessee, you never know. So last year, when the uh, when Centauri was evacuated for about an hour, was that uh, was that your call? Uh, it was actually Bonnaroo's call. Uh, uh, we had talked with them, uh, been in contact with them throughout that event, uh, but they actually make that call. Uh, we could, uh, as a as a county government agency, but uh, Bonnaroo is really good to work with, and they're very safety minded. They don't want to hurt. Right, right. And so they take the information that we're giving them and along with some other sources that they have and then they make that determination. Okay. Do you have a weather station set up at Bonnaroo? We, we actually have a, a weather station and then we, we do lightning uh, monitoring. Uh, we actually have a lightning monitor here on our building that covers a 50 mile radius of this building. So we, we get alerts anytime a lightning strike happens within 50 miles of this building. Um, and we feed that information to them because there's trigger points on their side of the house, depending on how close lightning is as to whether they're going to evacuate or take the artists off the stage or things like that. Um, so, and then we also in contact with the National Weather Service throughout the event, we'll get daily briefings from them uh, every morning saying this is what the weather's going to be today. And then they pinpoint us. They're they're kind of busy during this time of year because the CMA Music Fest is going on as well right. at the same time. Uh, so they pinpoint on a map our location, and then they monitor heavily uh, our location in, in Asheville, along with everything else that they monitor. So Manchester does get bumped up by the yes. National Weather Administration during that time. Yes, okay. absolutely. Now I know everybody's uh, saw the news last week of the Manchester bombing in England. Um, do, does that affect anything of security or, or, or you, how you react here this week? Of course, we're always standing forward and, and vigilant. Um, you know, it, it, the, the Manchester, England thing, it, it was a little concerning. Obviously, any attack is concerning. Uh, but our public response agencies and Bonnaroo have always uh, tried to lean forward as far as it was for security and safety of the patrons. So uh, I don't think you'll see a lot of difference this year, security-wise, uh, because it is it has been in a heightened state for so many years. Yeah, those, just just for those various reasons. Several years ago, it seems like they they tightened up yes. security out there, and and people complain about it taking a little longer to get through and stuff. But there's there's a reason for that. The, and then and folks just need to remember that it's for their safety that it that it takes a little longer. It's not to pick on so that. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, thanks. Good to talk to you. Absolutely. And, uh, have a good week. Hope so. More news leader on six is coming up after these messages. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. Tullahoma Mayor Lane Curley spoke to the Board of Mayor and Aldermen Monday night about details of this year's city budget. The Board of Aldermen and the citizens of Tullahoma, for the 15th time I present a budget message and state of the city to you as mayor. I appreciate this opportunity to discuss the economic vitality of Tullahoma as well as some of the achievements that have shaped our community the past year. I also will highlight some initiatives we have to look forward to in the coming year. I am pleased to report the city government of Tullahoma enjoys an AA2 bond rating, one of the highest in the state for a community our size. 
The city government once again had no audit findings. Your city government earned the GFOA Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Management, as well as the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award, one of the few cities in Tennessee to have that distinction. There are, these are independent and objective measures of how your tax monies are managed and measured for financial soundness. This budget represents a fiscally conservative approach to manage the monetary affairs of city government. I appreciate the leadership of City Administrator Jody Baltz and Finance Director Sue Wilson for their professional approach in managing the fiscal affairs of city government. I also appreciate all department heads for their leadership and management of the day-to-day -day affairs in their departments. Now to the budget before you. This budget represents our best effort at preserving, managing, and building the assets of Tullahoma, whether these are people, buildings, or programs. I welcome the board's and citizens' suggestions and offers of improvement. The budget, as proposed, contains no property tax increase for the next fiscal year and is balanced. It also assumes no additional personnel. This budget does not appropriate additional monies for Tullamore City Schools. However, the school system will benefit from additional projected sales tax revenue for their general fund and sales tax sinking fund accounts. This fiscal year, the city government will continue to provide $600,000 in loan payments for the THS facility improvements and East Lincoln School. We must challenge our school board, administration, teachers and staff and students to continue the excellent work within the financial constraints provided. The departments of city government made requests to improve or enhance services that will not be funded. Thanks to excellent financial stewardship, total operating expenditures are up less than 1%. I am pleased there is a 2% cost of living raise for all full-time city government employees as well as a step raise. Also included is the city's share of the Duck River Electric Substation in the Joint Industrial Park. Thanks to a combination of factors, all good, the city government is in a position to secure a $5 million loan for several long-needed infrastructure projects to benefit the citizens of Tullahoma. These factors include moving light tube debt off the city's books, strong increases in retail sales and new construction, and efficient stewardship of city government expenses. I propose we use this $5 million loan to build a new police station and animal shelter, plus significant additions in permanent paving, new sidewalk construction, and park improvements. First year debt service for the loan is included in this budget. The men and women of the Tullahoma Police Department have been using the existing station 24-7 since 1955. The building has not had a serious renovation in many years. It is old, outdated, and severely lacking in basic policing needs. In 1955, there were 12 police officers. Currently, there are 37 officers. There is no suitable interview or interrogation room or storage for equipment, weapons, and information technology. Alleged suspects, both adult and juvenile, are often seated in open areas visible to the public, and alleged suspects are often seated in areas where armed officers are moving around and police operations are discussed. The current facility has mechanical and electrical issues that are extremely difficult to repair due to the age of the facility and construction. Plus, the electrical and technology needs have far outdated the capabilities of the building without extensive installation and repair. These monies will construct a new station on West Grundy Street on land being donated by great community partners, Fran and Dan Markham. This station will serve the policing needs of Tullahoma for many years and will be a facility of which we can all be proud. The current animal shelter was built in the 1980s. It is old and outdated. The small and dedicated staff and volunteers do an excellent job with the resources they have. It is time we build a new shelter and continue their good work. Last fiscal year, our no-kill shelter adopted out 173 dogs, an amazing number for a community our size. Thanks to the hard work of staff and volunteers raising money and the very generous donations of benefactors, the cost of the shelter will be considerably less. Ever since I can remember, we have appropriated $250,000 annually for permanent street paving. We need to do more to maintain 330 miles of roads in Tullahoma. A drive down many streets will confirm work needs to be done. Paving will be done in all four quadrants of Tullahoma. I propose we double the amount of street paving typically done each year. By far, the biggest request I receive from citizens is for sidewalks. <coughs> it seems everyone loves sidewalks, and for good reasons. Sidewalks encourage neighbor interaction, fitness, and safety. Emphasis should be placed on adding sidewalks near schools and to connect existing sidewalks. This is also an opportunity to better develop our parks. My goal is for 90% of Tullahoma homes to be within one half mile of a park, fitness trail, or equipment. The loan includes money to start developing our new East Lincoln Street Park 
as well as improvements to Wagner Park and the part beside East Lincoln Elementary School. We'll be right back in a moment with more News Leader on 6. Buying a vehicle can be hard. It's even harder if you have poor credit health. But let the team here with Dr. Credit at Russell Barn Ikea help you. With our guaranteed credit approval process, we can help you find your next vehicle. But don't just take that from me. Here's a few of our customers and what they had to say. Uh, they said they could approve us and then the next thing was how much monthly. I thought it was going to be way too much. And sure enough, he did it what we asked for, what we needed it to be. He did it with him. He will help you out. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Credit at Russell Barnett Kia so you can drive away happy. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's got to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor's stat. Welcome back. Peggy Burton spoke with Ima Jean Smith fundraiser volunteer for the Tullahoma Senior Citizen Center about their 45th anniversary celebration going on this week at the center. Today with Imogene Smith and she is here to talk about the exciting 45th anniversary right. of the Coffee County Senior Association. <laughs> and so what's happening next? That's the That's fish the Saturday, fry, Saturday. Fish fry. Oh wow. Does somebody in the group catch all the fish? <laughs> Are well, you, I don't know. Some of them may have, but I don't think. It's Saturday from 11 until 2, two o'clock, and it's got the Highland Baptist Bluegrass Quartet. Right. They which, will be there about 1 o'clock okay. to play and sing for us. And it's cost how much? $10. That's a good deal, and you get a meal, don't you? You get a meal with you get that. get meal, music, right. mischief, all kinds oh, of good things. I have a lot of fun. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun all week. I know you've had something going on every night almost, uh, haven't yes, you? Yes, we have. Was the last thing you did was we have Friday. The Friday United was open house from 1 to 3. Had a wonderful turnout. Oh, that's good. And then Saturday night we had the Utopia Band. And they were there. And it was a good turnout for that. Good. And yesterday it was a, a kitchen band. A kitchen band is that? Well, mean that's they... his name. Oh, okay. Mr. Kitchen. I was, I I guess. was thinking about playing a washboard. <laughs> that's what somebody <laughs> I had a kitchen else band going. <laughs> anyway, he was there. They were there, and that was good. So then today we have another one now coming. You're, you're listed as the fundraising volunteer chairman. and volunteer, chairman, which I is... get those zeros added all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's wonderful what you're doing, and and 45 years of. Uh, being in, in our town yes. to celebrate all the people in Coffee County, which reaches Manchester well, or wherever, it's right? A, it's a, yes, and it's a good place to go. It is a good when place. When you live with yourself and you can go and talk to people, have a meal with them, enjoy it. Well, I take the ballroom dance class. Yeah, I know. And that's, on, that's on Tuesdays. So anybody that wants to come, it's free. It's a great deal. All of, it, it. all of it's free this week except the fish fry. We do charge for the meal on Saturday. And on the, in the fresh fish fry, you probably have uh, French fries and... Fish, hush puppies, beans, beans, slaw, desserts of all kinds. People are donating. Now, do you making. have to be a member to come to the fish fry? No. You can just come and pay your $10 and right. eat or any time. Ahead of time you get a ticket ahead of time if you want to. get a ticket ahead of time. If well, that is to. a real good deal. And it includes uh, a quartet of singers, entertainment, and some fine food. Right. Who does the cook in there? Is it well, we all, volunteers? This is volunteers, too. This is too. all volunteer. Uh, Vicki has some men lined up that's going to help fish, fry the fish and stuff. You know, people that are just sitting home on their couch, they need to come and get involved in the senior building. I think if they come and get... There's Tai Chi going on, there's dance classes going on, exercises. there's bridge groups, e exercise, line dancing, Rook. all kinds of things. Rook, and uh, hand put, several things. Well, I'm Jean, thank you so much for coming. Well, thank I'm you for having short. me. We encourage you to come to this Fish Fry Saturday. Yes, That's the look, forward to see it. look forward to seeing them there. Come and have a good meal while everybody else is over at Bonnaroo. 
The pet of the week this week at the Tullahoma Animal Shelter is an all-American mix named Ginger. She entered the shelter's astray and is approximately four years old. Ginger is up to date on her vaccinations, heartworm negative, microchip, and good with other dogs and children, and has been spayed. Be sure to check out the shelter on Facebook for information about uh, upcoming fundraisers and other events. Remember, you can help support your local shelter by adopting, donating, or volunteering. For more details, contact Teresa at 454-9580. The Tullahoma Animal Shelter is located at 942 Maplewood Avenue. The Coffee County Humane Society feature pet this week is Lucy. Lucy is a terrier mix who has been at the shelter for over three months and desperately needs a loving home. The shelter also has many other dogs available for adoption at 1210 Oakdale Street in Manchester. Hours of operation at the shelter are 7.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. on Saturday. The shelter's phone number is 723-2730. Donations for animal care can be made to the Coffee County Humane Society at P.O. Box 252 in Manchester. Their website is www.coffeehumane.org. Stay with us, your weather forecast is coming up next. The Russell Barnett Automotive family has launched its new Owner Advantage program. It starts as simple as, your first year's maintenance is included with the purchase. We have one year, three year, five year plans available. Car detailing, car rental, collision repair. Stop by one of our five locations and let one of our certified sales staff tell you all about it. The Russell Barnett Automotive Family Advantage program. And remember, my question is, why buy anywhere else? It's your trademark. That's something special everyone knows and remembers. It's your thing. It's made holidays special for decades and summer's unforgettable for the entire neighborhood. It's made everyone laugh every single time. Don't let illness or injury keep you from doing your thing. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Celebrate America's independence at Tullahoma Scenic Fraser McEwen Park, Monday, July 3rd. Gates open at 3 p.m. and world-class fireworks start at 9. This free event has music and fun for everyone. Tribute bands featuring the music of Chicago, Steely Dan, Tom Petty, and more. Plus a kid's zone, exotic animal petting zoo, food, fun, and games. Get the details at TullahomaTN.gov forward slash fireworks. Everyone is invited to enjoy the Tullahoma Kiwanis Independence Day Regional Celebration. July 3rd, Fraser McEwen Park, Independence Day Celebration, and fireworks. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1951 at 98 degrees. The record low was in 1966 at 46 degrees. Average high on this day is 84 and the average low is 61. Mostly clear weather expected tonight with a low of around 57. Mostly sunny weather in the forecast for both Friday and Saturday, which is good news for Bonnaroo fans. The high on uh, Friday is 80 with a low of 62 and mostly sunny weather, as I said, again on Saturday with a high of 84 and a low of 66. Okay, this is, okay. And that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. And from all of us on News Leader 6, wishes you and your families a beautiful weekend. Thank you.